It is your main event. The following contest is a six-man tag team. Introducing first, weighing in at a combined weight of 630 pounds, it's the Bible Club. as well as the professional wrestling world by the club back together. Six man tag team action. Oh, I do, but I'm not going to give it away to let out tell everybody who they're going to see. Uh oh. Ladies and gentlemen, make the noise for the Bible Club. Now the Bible Club guarantees victory today. And not because we're just that great, but because a Bible club understands that because we live in the Word, we are constantly not fighting for victory, but fighting from victory. So tonight, just like 2 Timothy 4, 7, we're going to fight the fight and keep the faith. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there we have it, Sam, the Lone Star, Johnny Lawless. Now, let's see if we can get back to what's going on in the ring. And their opponent, weighing in at a combined weight of 705 pounds, Hearts Legacy! Beautiful. 
drop kicks Josh is the one person I know that does so much better than you're sitting right next to it. But the league champion with a critical spin and suplex goes for the pin, does not get the count. And if we may get to finally see it, the the, the leader of the battle tag, Johnny Lawless, gets tagged in. And here we go. He's going to start trying to stop a mother lady. And it's the battle of the big plate. Ryan Hart with 
the wherewithal to kick out, and now Buck Maverick leading yeah. to a corner. He is fired up. He is on fire. He is ready to go. Hawk has no idea where he is. Oh, 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 oh. Buck Maverick smart enough to stop and not take out Carl Knight. But you know what? Ryan Hart is all alone. And he takes out the referee himself. Interesting move, uh, Ryan Hart threw referee Carl Knight into the corner. I don't think Buck Matt knows what to do. Oh, a spear oh. in the middle of the ring. Buck Matt and the Buck Matt. One, two, three. And every back in the back comes up, gets the three count in the Bible Club. Bible Club is victorious. And you're No, we've got some confusion here now in the ring. We won. One to one. One to one. Hart's legacy. Hart's legacy. I, I don't know what, what, what Carl Knight's trying to say here. DQ. Now you got the two Michael B's going at it in the corner here. I'm not sure I understand the logic behind that. Carl Knight is saying that it is a disqualification because of the actions of Ryan Hart. However, Carl Knight was not unconscious and could not make the count when it counted. CWF. Just so, just so you know, the boys have come out to play. The boys have come out to play, Phil, and I'll tell you what, I think we just got our answer to the attitude change in Tommy Prince. Attacking the Bible Club. I'm sure the website worldwide can be ahead of it. I am amazed to see what just happened there. Just wait. Like I said, I think we got a little bit of stuff into there. The, the, the change in the attitude by Tommy Prince and Dave Wilder. We may need some help from the back to come check on these guys and make sure they're okay. Here goes Aaron Scott, Reverend Aaron Scott coming out. Step on the Bible Club. Well, they're beaten and they're bruised, but they are still standing, and they are still the Bible Club. You got that right, Bill. I should have said it better myself. They are beaten and bruised, but they are still standing tall and strong together. Bible Club will be heading for the back to kind of regroup. And refigure what's going on with this new faction, the boys. Brixton Shaw said they were the biggest misfits in the CWF. We'll have more to that to come.